California prisons are bursting at the seams. The people who work there have tough jobs. Correction officer is a job many men would fear, let alone women. Last week, I was granted unprecedented access to tell the stories of some brave female officers who face mortal danger every day. Um, I've had inmates in my face telling me that they were going to kill me or stab me. Um, I've had inmates doing um, sexual mis dis you know, misconduct to where I've had to write them up. Calipatria State Prison, maximum security. It's located in the sweltering desert of the Imperial Valley, 180 feet below sea level, but way above capacity. 4,000 inmates jammed into a place designed for 2,000. The mood is tense. People are still recovering from a riot here two years ago. Two dozen officers were hurt. It didn't end until an inmate took a fatal bullet fired by an officer in that tower. August 18th. Okay, August 18th, 2005, and uh, an inmate stabbed somebody who has the very same job as you in the head. He was stabbed, he was patting down, and uh, the inmate had a weapon. So the inmate turned around and stabbed the officer. With that terrible day serving as a constant, ominous backdrop, our prison tour begins. We're told to refer to officers by last name only. We're warned against running across the prison yard. Just that is enough to incite the inmates. We are reminded of a sobering state policy. If we are taken hostage, they will not negotiate for our release. And before we enter the next building, even more drastic security measures are taken. They call this the hole. The baddest of the bad are housed here, and the level of tension is reflected accordingly. Anyone who enters here is required to wear a staff-proof vest like this. And any time an inmate is removed from the cell, he's shackled at the hands and often at the feet. We have murderers, we have rapists, we have people who committed robbery, people who battered people with great bodily injury, um, carjacking, gang type. And why do you always wear gloves? A lot of the, the inmates here have hepatitis C, some have HIV, and then not only that, but because I'm a female, um, and these are male inmates, um, you know, just a way of not, you know, having skin to skin. No arousal. Right, exactly. Of the 20,000 correction officers in the state, less than one-fourth are women. When females were first hired in the 70s, some of the men quit in protest. These female officers have come a long way since then. It's a dangerous unit. We have a staff assault of in inmates in here, or a lot of these inmates are in here for stabbing other inmates. So um, we have a close, you know, tight-knit group here. And they need to be tight-knit. One mistake, and you could be dead. Rodriguez! Half of the inmates here are lifers. The officers arrange a meeting with one of them. We are allowed to talk to him as long as he's inside a cage. He's a murderer who's been in and out of jail since he was 12. And what is it like to have them be uh, some of your only daily contact with other human beings? Well, I mean, I'm a man. I love women. <laughs> you know, you see them, but I'm not no sexual predator or nothing like that. You just like, it's like having a steak or something you can't eat always right there in front of you. You know what I mean? After our talk, Armstrong cuffs the murderer and leads him back to his cell. But make no mistake, he's still a threat. He's known for making lethal weapons out of the most common objects. Time to leave the hole. Thank you, Thank you Seaborn. You guys have a good day. Armstrong's shift is over. On the way home, she throws on a shirt to cover her uniform. She doesn't like to advertise where she works. And once inside, the mother of two is transformed. She's like any other mom, cooking dinner. But she also takes time to comfort a son who worries about his mother at work. I think that she's like checking the cellars and like a prison guy is trying to get her. And that like broke my heart. I told him, you don't need to worry about me. You're too little to worry about me. I'm, I'm a big girl, I'll take care of myself. I'll make sure I come home. Over the years, the male correction officers accepted their female colleagues. Now many praise the women for being a calming influence in a volatile environment.